Hi ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button. So today I thought I would just do a fun video for you, a what's in my handbag. I recently changed into my spring and summer handbag and it's a bag that I really love and I think many of you might like it too. It's not a new bag, but it's a classic bag that's been around for a long time. And um, many stores have it on sale right now. You can find it on QVC, you can find it at Belk, you can find it at Macy's, and you can find it on the store's website. And even though it's one of the highest quality bags I own, you can find it for less than $200, maybe even less than 150 And it's a bag that will last you for over 10 years. So I found out about this bag from a girlfriend and it's the only bag she carries. She has this exact style bag in like five different colors. And for years, it's the only bag she's carried and she just switches the color based on what she's wearing or the season. And so since she loved this bag so much, I had to get one myself and I chose the summer, a summer bag and I picked a summer color and it is the Dooney and Burke Zip Zip Satchel. And it looks like this. And it's called a zip zip satchel because it has two zippers. Well, one big zipper that goes down the whole entire length of the bag. And when you unzip the zippers, it has this huge open mouth. So you can really get into this bag very easily. And it's got some fabric here that's really sturdy and durable and it won't allow your items to roll out of the deep opening here on the sides. And it also comes with a crossbody strap. And this body strap is adjustable, so it can be a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap. I have it as long as it is so that I can use it as a crossbody strap. And I really like to have that hands-off option when I'm out with this bag because sometimes you just need your hands to be free. And it has these two handles that fold completely down, which is also very nice because you know some bags, they just stay up and then they're kind of in your way or they flop over. But this, they fold completely down and they'll stay down. So that's also really nice. It has feet on the bottom. I think all Dooney and Burke bags do. At least I've never owned one that hasn't. And I currently have four Dooney and Burke bags. I think that they're amazing. I think the quality is better than Louis Vuitton bags at the price, a fraction of the price. And right now, Little Fires Everywhere, it's on Hulu. It's a series and it's based on a book by Celeste New and Reese Witherspoon and Carrie Washington are starring in it. So it's got some big names. Reese carries the Dooney and Burke bags in that show and I think that's really cute because um, it's based like in the 90s and she's carrying the all weather leather but they're so cute and I love that Dooney is getting a little bit of love and a girlfriend of mine just sent me an article written about that and it's kind of you know paying homage to Dooney and I really think that they deserve a little more love because they're such great bags at a great price point. I chose the pebbled leather because it's the closest thing to the all weather leather from the 90s. So durable. There's really nothing that can like scratch this up or break it. I mean, of course there is, but it's hard to do. They're just very durable bags. This particular bag isn't that heavy. Mine is really loaded and I can carry this fairly easily. It doesn't bother me at all. I carry it as a handheld. I carry it on the crook of my arm or I use the hands-off option with the strap. And I love that you can dress it up or dress it down. So today I'm in like just joggers and a t-shirt and it looks great. But if I'm also just wearing a dress, I don't have to switch out of my bag. It'll still work. And that's the reason why my girlfriend loves these bags so much that they just work with whether she's working or home or whatever she's doing. She doesn't have to mess around with changing her bag that often. So anyways, this is why this bag is so great. And so I'm just gonna get to it and show you what's in it. And um, so let's just get started. And then I'm just gonna start pulling things out. So the first thing I have is my cosmetics pouch. And um, I have one of these little bands. You can make these with pantyhose. You just cut pantyhose or tights and you can make these little hair bands. They're great. I've seen tutorials on it on YouTube and they really hold my hair back nicely. And it's a great way to make yourself little hair bands and not have to spend money on them. So I really like that idea. So I've been doing that with my daughter's old tights, <laughs> making myself hair bands. 
Um, I have an Honest Beauty foundation in here, and this is just a touch up foundation during the day. It's got the little sponge underneath, and then it's got my, it's kind of like a creamy product, but it's really nice. And if I need to cover something or, you know, refresh my makeup, I've got this. I have an Honest Beauty lip gloss in here, and these are amazing. I love these lip balms. That's the one I'm wearing right now from Honest Beauty. Um, I have a eucalyptus and spearmint from Bath and Body Works. This is a hand um, lotion and it's really nice and it smells really good and fresh. And I forgot to mention this in my recent favorite fragrance video. It was in my purse, so I forgot about it altogether. I don't have it in the full bottle, but it's the Gucci Bloom and it smells like, it's, it smells like a a beautiful floral bouquet, but it doesn't smell like potpourri. Last spring, I don't know how much is still in here, but I will repurchase it for in my purse. I love it on the days that I run out the door and forget to put fragrance on. Um, people always tell me I smell good when I have this on. I have a Mineral Fusion brush on sunblock, and this is an SPF 30. And Mineral Fusion is sold at Target now with a full range, so you can get it there. And it's got this little brush, and you just during the day, you can reapply your sunblock to your face, your hands, your neck, your chest, and I really like this in the summertime. I've got a Wander Beauty mascara in here. Wander Beauty packages most of their products for wandering or traveling, so they use tubes. So I have this tube, and it's really nice. It's squishy, so I can you know put it in my little cosmetics pouch, and it doesn't take up too much space. So that's all I have in my cosmetics pouch. I have a pack of wet wipes because you gotta have these these days. I have my, I think these are called like a key clay. It's for your key or a coin purse. And I have a little card in the back. It's like just a little Visa card, one of those gift cards just for an emergency. And the key for my car has to be on me in order for my car to work. It's keyless. So I have it in here and this is it. It's pretty bulky. So I keep it in here and that way if I change purses or something, some purses can get a little beat up when your key's like rattling around. So I keep it in here. And then in the front pocket, I just have stamps in case I have to go into the post office. If you don't wanna use this for your key, you can use it, you could um, put coins in it. It's just a really nice thing to have. You could put your key on here if you wanted. And it's Juni, and this matches my, it's navy and tan. It's the same quality as the handbag I have. So I love this. I have my Dooney wallet that matches my other bag. Again, I did order some small other goods to match this bag, but this is the wallet I'm using. And it just has a place for lots of stuff, a little empty pocket here, a pocket here, my cards, driver's license, all that kind of stuff. And then I have a lot of cash right now because nobody wants to take cash. They prefer you to use your card um, for, um, just to be safe, because you can wipe off your card and cash is so dirty. So it's been accumulating in here, which is a good thing. <laughs> I think eventually I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to use my cash. So I've got my cash in there. Oh, I've got some more cash here. Oh my gosh, I've got so much cash. I'm not out to that to brag. I just have, like my husband, I don't like to use cards, um, credit cards. I like to use my debit card but I really prefer to use cash because then I know how much I'm spending and when it's gone, it's gone. It's a really great way to budget. So that's how we typically spend money. Well, I do, I use cash and he gives me cash, but I haven't been using it. Like I said, like the drive throughs and stuff, nobody wants it right now. I do have a pen in my purse and right now I'm keeping it in a plastic bag just in case it should leak or anything like that. So this is the pen. I was watching a YouTuber years ago and she, shut her channel down and she took down her videos. Um, but she was talking about only putting in your purse what makes you happy, what's beautiful, and makes you feel good. Kind of like the same thing as this book suggests. So I went and got a really pretty pen for my purse and it's this one, it's got a little pearl on the top. They make them with little diamonds on the top too. If I can find them, I'll link them. I think I got mine at Barnes and Noble, but you can get them in other places but I always like to have that pretty pen in my purse. And plus, 
when I go out, if I have to use a pen, I don't want to use the pen that's on hand, like at the post office or anything. I definitely don't. So I just reach in my purse and get my own pen that only I'm using. And so that's the zipper pouch here. And then there's a slip pocket here and I don't have anything in there right now. And then there's two slip pockets on this side of the purse as well. And there's one of these things that I don't even ever use. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Maybe a pouchette or something you could use it for. Um, so in one of the slip pockets, I do have a birthday gift card from Target. My birthday was back in December and I still haven't used it. So I need to use that. And then I have a single dollar bill, a renegade bill, and then I have gift cards from various restaurants and things like that. Um, I get a lot of gift cards from my in-laws and people like that at Christmas time, and I always appreciate it. So I um, keep them in there to treat myself. I got this little sunglass pouch from Loft. I think it used to be Ann Taylor Loft, now it's just Loft. Um, a few months back, I got it for spring break, which we ended up canceling and not going on. But I really like it, it keeps my sunglasses protected in my pouch and I keep a pair of readers in here too because I cannot read anything without them you know any small print so I have to have them for when I go into stores or from reading a menu or something like that so I always have this in my purse and then I have this other little pouch and this came with my Dooney logo lock bag this is black and tan and um it came with that purse. I really like it a lot. You could put your driver's license or debit card here. So you could just take this out of your purse and use this. You can't buy these individually from Dooney. I wish you could because I'd love to get one that matches my white bag, but that's fine. Um, I have tissues, hand sanitizer, and um, this will even fit in here, which is kind of nice. Like this little pouch, I wish that I could get another one because it holds so much. Like. Look, I've got the lipstick in the bottom, the wipes, the Kleenex, the hand sanitizer. They're all bulky items and I can zip it easily shut. So I really like this a lot. Um, it's a great little pouch. And then the only other thing I have in here at the bottom is this and it's a clip and another pony twist just in case because a lot of times I'll start out the day wearing my hair down and then as the day goes on I want to pull it back because it starts to bug me so I always have something like that too and the last thing is and one of the slip pouches I always have these little gingins you can get these at TJ Maxx you can get them at the grocery store and they're just like little ginger candies and they really help if I get an upset stomach I'll just have a ginger in and it really does settle my stomach. Ginger is really good for that. So I always have one of those in my purse as well. Usually I have a few of them, but I'm down to one. So I need to pick up a new box of gingers. And so that's what's in my handbag. And the last thing I wanted to show you is that this bag does come with a crossbody strap or a shoulder strap. And it's a really nice, good leather strap and it's adjustable. It has two places where you can adjust it. And um, I'll show you how it snaps on the purse. It doesn't have like special hooks for it, but it does snap onto your purse straps. It snaps onto the handles and the handles, like I said, do go down, which is really nice. So if you're carrying your strap on your shoulder or as a crossbody, the, the handles don't get in your way. They're not too bulky and your bag will hang kind of nicely at your hip. It's not the best crossbody bag because the best are usually flatter and they don't bother you at all. But if you like to have a handheld bag like this, but you want to have the option of having it, having your hands free, this is a great choice. So I always have the strap with me too. I usually just stuff it at the bottom of the bag or I have it in my car glove box. I think it's having a sale Macy's, Belk, all the places that they sell this handbag. I think even QVC in lots of different colors. So check it out if you're interested in a Zip Zip Satchel from Dooney and Burke. I think it's a great little bag and I'm really enjoying mine. So I hope you liked this little what's in my handbag and an introduction to the Dooney and Burke Zip Zip Satchel. If you did, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel and I hope you all have a very blessed and beautiful day. I'll see you next time.